Good morning. I just saw this meme this morning that just said, here we fucking go again. I mean, good morning. <laughs> and that could not have spoken to me more deeply. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. It's Thursday right now. I am headed to ballet and I am so freaking excited about it. I need this class so badly. So ballet is happening. I have my new ballet shoes that I got yesterday. We're gonna break them in, baby. I'm stoked. After ballet, I'm meeting with my mom. It's been a while since we've touched base and she's missed a lot <laughs> that's happening in my life the past several days. So I'm gonna just hang out with my mom for a little bit. She always makes me feel better about stuff. And um, tonight we are going, tonight, firstly, I teach the 415 refine class, which will also be very, very healing for me. And then after that, Nick and I are probably gonna get dinner because we're going to see the Collie Buds tonight at the Fremont and I'm so excited. I haven't been to a concert in a minute and Collie Buds are just so good and I'm so excited. So what's on tap for today? I was able to get breakfast in this morning, which is so good because the past few mornings I just have not made breakfast and I've just had to have a bar or just like go hungry, which is not healthy at all. So I'm working on completing my really dank matcha, by the way. Wow, it is, it is matcha eat right now. Realize I didn't wash off my mascara from last night. <laughs> Whatever. I put on mascara, it's staying on, okay? That was a decision that I made. Thank you. Collie buds. Is it Collie Buds? Oh, okay. I it's Revolution for whatever. Babe, no. I was gonna say, I was like, man, Revolution's huge. Yeah, okay. Collie Buds. Collie buds. Yeah. Finally, the herb come around, you know what I'm saying? Good morning. I am headed to town. I'm teaching the 930 ride class. It's an Olivia Rodrigo and Billie Eilish ride and I'm excited. I left my all of my pairs of headphones at the office yesterday in town. So I was playlisting without them and it's just hard. Anyways, so I'm gonna spend some time going over this. It's 7.32 right now, so I have two hours. But I'm gonna go to Laurel and just kind of hash out some some of my playlist and then uh we also got a shit ton of merch our fi our order was finally finally finished yesterday and so i want to make sure that all of that merch has been inputted into the system um that might not get done uh while i'm there before class but that's okay that's not a priority before class but at some point this weekend i would like to get the merch out <laughs> <laughs> that was a freaking morning so far. I, <laughs> to be dramatic, was getting ready to leave and I couldn't find my freaking car key. And I was like, it was just the fob. It wasn't attached to anything, which is always a problem. But yesterday, like I remember having it. I remember coming home. I checked my jacket pockets, wasn't in there. And of course my spare key, my spare fob doesn't, it's battery's dead. So that's not helpful. <laughs> Gotta change that. Anyway, I was checking and I was like, okay, the only other place it could be would be my pants, which have since been washed. <laughs> so I checked the washing machine once, couldn't find it. Twice, found it. Thank God it still works. My car is now functioning, but I got to my car to warm it up and the doors were completely locked, which is like not at all ever the case because since we live far from civilization, I never need, I can just leave my keys in the car. Um, 
and because it's just like no one's no one's coming to up to our house <laughs> ever so anyway all is fine i am feeling extremely reclusive today and like really antisocial. so i don't know what's gonna happen with me today to be honest i'm not feeling like being around people i'm not feeling like um i feel like being productive though so we can do things without being around people still I, and i think that's what we're gonna end up doing um, that being said, no idea where this day is going. I brought some clothes to change into if I need to. I brought an extra change of yoga clothes to change into if I want to do another class or if I want to record or whatever. So there are options and there's the day is just open to interpretation. And I don't know, I've just been not really feeling like myself lately for the past like five days. And it's been really frustrating for me because like I just can't shake it. I need to drink more water. I think that's partially the problem. That's what's going on with me. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Yesterday I got to see my dad. Um, that was really nice. I did a great job with the range yesterday, minus one stage. So yeah, it was a really good time out there and I'm really proud of myself for my progress and how well I did yesterday. Let's just talk about how I could not sleep last night due to the excruciating gas pains I was having. Isn't that so glamorous? I thought, you, I, thought I should share that with you. I thought you guys really want to know that. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that right now I am just experiencing a lot of anxiety going into the studio right now. Not going to lie. I'm like in my head I'm just trying to talk myself off a cliff and it's I don't I don't know where this is coming from, but like it's really freaking me out thinking about being around 40 people right now. It's freaking me out. <laughs> uh I got a good walk in. My car has been freaking out all morning because the battery is wet. And so I just tried to completely dry out and dry off my fob, but it is still not working correctly. It's been, it's been an adventure. Today's Go Macro Bar flavor is peanut butter, chocolate chip, protein pleasure. I am gonna go, I think, to Avila right now. I feel like being by the beach, it's going to be a beautiful day there. And that's just where I feel like I need to be today. So we're going to do that. It's going to be great. It's going to be nice. Can't wait. Because my car started freaking out, I didn't have a chance to like stretch after my walk. But as hungry as I am not right now, this tastes really good. <laughs> Hopefully that is the last of my key issues. It was so embarrassing because my freaking car alarm kept going off. I freaking hate that. I don't need a car alarm. Okay, like, what is this, 1990? I'm gonna steal out of my car. You gotta steal out of my car. Bro, is it supposed to rain again? I'm just not feeling that. We did have a nice couple days though. I will give it that. That was nice. Loved it. Can I stop being in a mood? I'm so over it. I just want to be like stoked on life right now, you know? Really annoying that I'm not. But we all have moments. We all have our moments. That's not even a song. That's not even a song. Just kept trying. I just turned my camera on and then this guy decides to get on his motorcycle. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Anyways, that was not shaming the guy with the motorcycle. It's just the timing was just funny. Been parked here for like 45 minutes and I've just been sitting in my car watching reels. I have not watched reels like this in a really long time. In a really long time. <laughs> I just don't feel like getting out of the damn car. I want a coffee, so I'm going to end up doing that. But I just, I don't want to open my computer. I don't want to do any of that right now. I'm just not in the fucking mood. But I'm here. I parked. It's a start. There's really nothing I have to do. And it's really nice. I should just take advantage of that. But what time is it? It's 1130. I don't feel like it today. I quit. <laughs> All right, the first step is to put on a sweatshirt. I'm gonna put on my jacket, which is in my trunk. The great news is my car seems to, to be functioning normally now. So there's that. I haven't worn this sweatshirt in a really long time. Of course, I start wearing my old Spark merch, like right when we get new merch. That's hilarious. Could I also go to the hot tubs? <sighs> I can't be the only one feeling like this. This latte was $7.25. I just figured I'd be real with y'all. <laughs> That's so insane. I really don't go out and grab coffee that often unless like I'm, 
I have a meeting, <laughs> which even then I still try to just meet in my office. Holy crap, is this even good? Let's see. It's really hot, which is nice. That's really good. It's been a while since I've had a hot coffee. That's delicious. Okay, where am I going now? Because I've decided I'm not working today. <laughs> so where am I going? Where should we go? Nick was like, hey, I need something at Target. Go pick it up. And then he's like, wait a second. It's out of stock. So just kidding. So now, now what the fuck do I do? Ow. That did not need to happen, like, at all. Damn it. Um, my hair is having a crisis. Is it attached? No, really. Here's the thing. I could just go get my nails done right now and get it over with. I should just go get my nails done. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna be really upset with myself if I don't do that when I have all the fucking time in the world. view there is right there. Damn. That's why we drive this road. honestly quite lovely there are people next to me all over the place but it's fine um i got cabbage so there's that nick made corn beef last night which color me freaking confused why like in the middle of the night i was like <laughs> i was like why does it smell like corned beef in here and then when i was waking up for the day finally i was like oh yeah <laughs> There's corned beef freaking cooking in the slow cooker. And honestly, I'm really thrilled about it. It is 1.52. I feel like by now it should be freaking five o'clock. That's, that's how long this day has been. I don't understand how it is still so early in the day. Like, because I don't feel like doing shit. <laughs> but okay, we have cabbage. What is there left for me to do today? What do I need to do in town? I feel like the answer is nothing. So I think I'm just gonna go home. Also, how embarrassing that I have holes in my socks, both of my socks. And as I was putting them on at the nail salon, I was like, oh my God, please no one look. I am not this big of a mess. I am, but like, you're not supposed to know that I'm this big of a mess. I don't prioritize socks in my life, apparently, even though I wear them every day, which is crazy because I used to never wear socks. It used to be like flip-flops, Burks, or bust. And now I'm like a sock queen with flip-flops and with Burks sometimes, don't come at me. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go home. That's the vibe. It's cloudy and dreary. Let's just go ahead and call a spade a freaking spade. I have been depressed. <laughs> That's what's been going on. And um, I don't know why I've been trying to like freaking sugarcoat this mood that I'm in, but I've been depressed. Like I just wanna be in bed and I don't wanna do anything. And that's just how it's been the past week. 
and it sucks. So maybe this is my mental health day. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm calling in mental health day. That's what I'm doing because that's what I feel that I need right now. So anywho, we are going home and I'm probably going to end up doing some work actually now that I just said that I was calling in mental health day, but I've, I've done a mental health morning. So it is what it is. Okay. That's it for me. All right, we're on our way to the ride studio. I am teaching. My hair is oiled and very stringy. It's been a really challenging past week for Nick and I, um, just navigating some business stuff and it just has not been fun and it's been quite emotional and I am just, I'm reaching, I'm reaching a boiling point. All that to say, I am very grateful to be teaching this class right now. Every time that I do something like this, I am able to completely get my mind off of everything and focus on exactly what I'm doing for 45 minutes and or however long. And I'm just ooh, so grateful <laughs> that I can do this. Yeah, I just sometimes it's it's hard to figure out the right things to do or the right thing to do, the right way to say something or what's the best way to communicate this. Ultimately, you just have to go with your intuition and kind of just follow your heart and not overthink things or make them something that they're not. I know I'm being vague, but like that's kind of what we've been doing. It's like I've never this is kind of new territory for me. Like how do I say something or I don't know. It's really, really hard making decisions. It's really, really challenging making decisions. And I have had quite the morning. After teaching, I had a long manager meeting and it went really well, super productive. And the mirrors are getting installed, which I totally forgot to take a video of just because there's just so much going on. And I don't know, just <sighs> when things happen, they happen all at once in the business world <laughs> and I guess in life. And I just am trying to not react to everything as it comes. That being said, I have some tasks on my responsibility list to do. Nick is gonna be working as the mirror guys get their project done. Yeah, and then we're gonna reconvene after that, but a lot, a lot, but nothing we can't handle, right, Dan? look right now should be a full testament to how <laughs> this day and the past couple weeks have been. But we're on the up and up, I feel like, and it's just been a really productive, soul nourishing day, even though it's been really challenging. It's been very challenging. However, like I've had some good conversations and helpful conversations. So I feel like we're doing all right, folks. We're doing all right for the most part. I have to add, we are going home. Full transparency, and this is not a flex whatsoever. It's actually really terrible, is that I have not eaten today, except for a Go Maco bar at 11.30. So uh, that's not acceptable. I just had a beer. <laughs> that was delicious, but now I need to go have some food. So that's what we're doing now. Nick is, he's been doing, actually, do you all care? I don't even know, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. So Nick has been transferring over our shit <laughs> from one storage unit to the other. This project began last week, tail end of last week, and has continued since then. And finally, finally, he is now complete. Like he, we can move on from that storage unit. Now we have a larger unit so we can actually <laughs> fit all of our shit in there for Spark. So that's helpful. That's done. Great. Love that. And now though, he is headed to, ooh, that's stinky. That's stinky. Ew. Fun fact is that my car does not have the uh, recycling air option. It does, but like it doesn't work at all. So I just get to marinate and ingest all of the shit that's in front of me. Anyways. 
Side note. So he is now going to the ride studio. He needs to put um, the podium and all of the bikes back in their proper place for the class that starts in an hour and a half. New mirrors, I'm so excited about it. I'm hoping he sends me a picture so I can post on our Instagram story because this is a big deal. New mirrors have needed to happen forever forever so excited about that i don't know i just i need to say or express how much energy it takes just to do the most mundane things most of the time when you run it when you own a business it's not just a thing it ends up being like a thing on top of a thing on top of a thing and you just have to like find the energy to to complete the task or to have the conversation or to make everything you know come into place i don't know if i'm making sense but it's, it's a lot and one task is not just one task, I think is what I'm trying to say. Like there's so much involved in one single decision, one single conversation, there's so much involved in it and it's a lot on me. It's a lot on me emotionally and um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I'm okay, everyone's okay. I need to take a shower, I need to eat, I need to decompress because it's 4.09, I need to decompress. The beer was amazing, thank you. Thank you to the beer. Hats off to the beer. <laughs> okay, I guess we're done. Not gonna lie, I feel reborn today. I don't know why, I just feel like some weight has been lifted and I just feel in way better spirits today. And that's good news, because I have an interview today and I feel like I just really want to be very clear-headed and present for this interview. I'm going to go to the 9 a.m. sculpt class and after that, I'm either gonna go on a walk or I'm going to go straight to my office and just start banging stuff out before this interview. I have a massage today scheduled for one o'clock and then we also have a member gathering tonight for Spark. So um, it's going to be kind of a long day. I am ready for it and I'm here for it. Holy moly. I am leaving it just in time to hit all of the school traffic. So we'll see how long it takes me to get home. It's 3.30 right now and I am so hungry. We have our member gathering tonight. I think I already mentioned that this morning, but so I don't have a whole lot of time until I have to like turn back around and go back into town. So it's probably not the greatest that I'm heading home actually now that I think about it. But Nick and I do need to consolidate cars. So that's basically the reason why I would be going home but still kind of like feels like a waste of gas and time and energy but you know what it's fine that massage was so good she is awesome if any of you are local and watching which i know all of you are local and watching because the only people who watch this are people who know me <laughs> at this point i feel like jordan at slow wellness center don't sleep on it she's amazing i'm so grateful to her she just has good energy um does really great work so love her here waiting for the gang to get here. Select either a taco or a burrito. I'm placing it in front of you. I'll be a burrito. Can you get a taco? Yes, please. Uh, Hello, ladies. He's talking to the hen. No food, please. Okay, we got a couple. The little baby eggs. We have a day ahead. I'm headed to ballet. I was really hoping to sleep in today, but as you can probably guess, my cat woke me up at around 5.55, 6 a.m. So I was up. I did a brief workout, like a 20 minute full body workout. Now I'm headed to ballet, excited about it. I've been having some like knee stuff. Like I feel like my right knee has been slipping a little bit, which is a bit concerning, but it does feel better today. And it felt better yesterday as well. So I'm just gonna, really be mindful of that while I'm in class today, but I'm excited. I uh, am meeting, or my, Nick and I are meeting my parents for lunch and wine tasting in Paso today at one. 
So after ballet, I'm going to head to the Laurel Studio to shower and then uh, meet Nick there as well. And then we'll head to Paso together. And I'm excited for that. And that's pretty much the day. What is going on right there? That doesn't look good. It might be, actually it might be a controlled fire situation. <laughs> 